Welcome to JMAX 101. Well, what I want to show you today is the process that we're using to establish the baseline of uh, this particular vehicle. This is the Corolla 1.3 litre engine. And what we want to find out is um, how long it will run for on the carburetor after the fuel is switched off. This is a very easy reference point, which we can all do. And, um, and then evaluate uh, various cells, whether they're hydroxy, Joe cells, JMAX cells, or whatever, um, as they uh, cut in and improve engine performance. Now what we've done is we've fitted a, um, a fuel cutoff cell, which is available from any LPG installation uh, place. And um, we simply turn the fuel off and time the engine run out. Now at the moment, we're running um, on idle at about um, 570 revs. It's around 550, but it's a little bit above the 550. And we'll go and uh, switch off the fuel now and see how it performs. The switch is just mounted under the dashboard here and uh, we'll try and flick the switch off as well as set the timer going. Okay, now we're timing. Okay, now when we started uh, experimenting with this vehicle, uh, the very first time we um, ran it after fitting the fuel cutoff, the time was 98 seconds. So that's our baseline. Now since then we've uh, uh, fitted an energized cell and we actually got up to four minutes and five seconds, which was quite a dramatic improvement. Since then we've had the cell off and this has just had some fresh water put in it, so it's not really energized as yet, but we'll just see uh, what it does. We've also done a bit of running around and on 160 kilometers, we on average use about 18 litres of fuel. Now on the last run when the cell was actually fitted and had been energised, that went down to 15 litres, a saving of 3 litres on 160 kilometres. On this particular cell, you'll notice a solid aluminium block and that is the connection through the uh, solid multi-strand cable, which is aluminium, consists of 19 strands, 2.4 millimeter thick um, or diameter uh, aluminium wire. And it comes around here to where the EGR valve normally fits. And you'll see the, uh, the nut there where another solid block of aluminium bolts onto an aluminium stud, which screws into where the EGR valve was. Okay. Now that red wire down there is the connection at the end of the cable which goes to our auxiliary battery pack which supplies 3 volts to the cell at all times to keep it slightly energised. We can of course disconnect uh, this wire and connect it straight to the battery for charging according to the uh, half-life uh, principle which is fully described in the, uh, the manual, free energy um, uh, secrets revealed, water fuel salt secrets revealed. And we've followed that manual um, to uh, determine the, the half-life voltage of the cell. Now we're down to um, 2 minutes and 29, 2 minutes and 30, and you can hear the engine stalling. And this is a good indication when the cell is actually partially functioning. You'll find it all will go on that rough mode and when it's really kicked in the uh, the cell will will uh, actually take over and uh, the engine will continue to run in this case of course it hasn't because we haven't uh, properly energized the cell but anyway we did about two minutes and 40 seconds which was about uh, consistent with what we achieved the other day so we think that what's happened here is that uh, there is some residual effect from the uh, earlier cell that had been energized to quite a good degree and uh, 
because the engine does actually uh, accumulate charge of the deuterium or whatever gas you want to uh, call it and effects will linger even when you take the cell off so we've been consistently getting two minutes and, and 40 odd uh, seconds in lieu of the 98 seconds initially achieved and so we can use that as our second benchmark our stepping stone and as we uh, energize this particular cell and it kicks in uh, we will we would expect to see a, a greater improvement on our times so this is the very basic first step of evaluating your engine and from there we will certainly notice uh, further improvements rather than just expecting the cell to kick in and run we can now evaluate a step-by-step -step process and actually plot improvements as we go and as you make alterations to cable connections and so on or to the uh, charging of the cell it, it gives you a means of, uh, of, of reasonably accurate evaluation thank you for attending the JMAX 101 fuel evaluation test